everyone and welcome to my channel. My name is Nikki. Before I begin, I'd like to remind you that this is a general reading for everyone with your zodiac sign. So if you are interested in something personalized just for you, you can visit my website or my Etsy shop. It's $15 per tarot reading and there are other offers and deals on there. So make sure to check those out. I will have both websites linked in the description box below this video. If this reading does not seem to resonate with you, you really need to check out the reading for your rising sign. Your moon sign can also be significant, but especially your rising sign. And now on to your reading. Hello Aquarius and welcome to your July 2016 tarot reading. My name is Nikki. I have already shuffled and meditated over the cards and laid before you is your monthly spread. For the first week of July you have the Five of Scrolls. Now I am using my chrysalis deck and they do label things a little bit differently but scrolls are swords so this is really the five of swords in reverse. So this points to either you or somebody else um, slandering uh, your name or um, gossiping. Maybe someone has accused you of um, some wrongdoing. And um, in this first week, you're going to be cleared of that wrongdoing, if that is the situation. If somebody has said something um, bad about you or accused you, um, you are going to be cleared of it in the first week. Now, yeah, um, if you have accused somebody of doing something or have gossiped or slandered somebody, then um, this could be some kind of, humi you know, it, it could mean some kind of humiliation or some embarrassment because maybe you accuse them wrongly um, and and maybe others find out. Now this card could also point to some kind of vengeance or revenge. Um, so this could be you wanting revenge on somebody else. You know, if they did slander you in some way. Or this could be somebody wanting revenge on you. So you need to think back in this first week of anyone that you may have um, done some wrongdoing to or, act, you know, anything, you know, some, perhaps you have just acted treacherous in some way towards them and, and now they're out to get you in this first week. So you might have to watch your back. Just, you know, think back. Do you have any enemies, anyone um, who is potentially out to, um, to harm you in any way, whether it be physical or emotional or whatever? For the second week of July, you have the Four of Spirals, and that is the Four of Wands. So this is a very positive card. So you got something kind of kind of negative going on unless unless it's you being cleared of any kind of wrongdoing then that's a very positive thing um, and in the second week you definitely have a positive card uh, you know the four wands is your security your uh, stability this is your home and your family and and you having a period of rest or even celebration this is you enjoying your home life and feeling um, feeling happy you're not worried you're just enjoying uh, you're enjoying the comforts of of um, your family and your friends and your hobbies and that type of thing for the third week you have the ace of mirrors now mirrors are cups so this is really the ace of cups and aces are a gift from the universe and um, cups are all about emotions and spirits so um, this could be some kind of new relationship that, you know, you are entering in the third week of July, whether it be a love relationship or just a friendly relationship. Uh, this is, uh, you know, this could signify some kind of birth in your family or circle of friends. Um, this could be some kind of happy ceremony, a wedding. Um, a birthday, something that would um, bring about happy, joyous feelings. Now this could also indicate being um, more connected to the spiritual realm. Um, this could be a, um, a, a past 
loved one um, who's already crossed over trying to communicate with you in some way. So you may want to pay attention to any dreams that you have that really stick out because um, th that's how uh, they come through a lot of the time. Um, pay attention to any kind of synchronicities. Um, pay attention to your belongings around you. Um, are things moving? Are you losing things? And it's, you know, it's just not making sense on, on why they are not where you put them or what, whatever. And you could just be um, feeling more spiritual in the third week. And this would be a great time for you to get in touch with um, with your spiritual side and, you know, pray, meditate, um, do whatever it is that you do, um, whether you go to church, whether you just spend quiet time reading. Um, some people study religion, um, whatever. But um, this could be a time where you are more open to the spirit world and you are more connected. For the last week of July, you have the wheel, and this is the wheel of fortune, and it is in its reversed position. So <laughs> this is, you know, kind of a turn of bad luck going on in the last week. This is, um, this is not the week to make unnecessary risks or um, important decisions that can wait. This is not the week to gamble, <laughs> if you do that. Um, I do advise that you check your, your astrology transits, if possible, to maybe try to pinpoint why um, you know, you're having a downturn in the wheel. Um, but this is, you know, this is a period of time where, where luck is unfortunately not on your side. But it doesn't, it doesn't signify a, a bad week altogether. This is, you know, nothing bad may happen at all. And for most of you, nothing bad will happen. Um, this is just a period where, you know, perhaps things may feel stagnant, like they're not moving forward, like that wheel is not turning. Um, past events may come back to, um, to haunt you, so to speak. Um, things that you thought you were over or things that you thought were done and out of your life may reappear back into your life. So yeah, um, <laughs> that is your reading in its entirety, Aquarius. I hope that you found it helpful. If you did, please push that like button and subscribe if you haven't subscribed because I do this every month. And like always, I look forward to talking to you again next month. Bye-bye.